So you understand how the J-Juice works in conjunction with all the different cancer disease and chronic illnesses and the viruses? The J-Juice has the nutritive elements. It has the cabbage and the kale nutrition. It has the probiotic, which is a lactobacillus that kills uh, the viruses and it keeps your candida at bay. And the salt then um, breaks up the agglutination of the antibodies. The water is the carrier force and the electrolytes is the energizing force. And, uh, and the salt is the electrolytes, okay? So, and the minerals is what your body needs. So you have that. Then you have the diet, which is the food supply. That food supply is what feeds you, okay? Not only does the cabbage and the kale when it's fermented, but also the food supply. So that actually feeds your body. And when you take in the J-juice, it heals and seals, gives you the good bacteria, so that way you can absorb. And then your body starts repairing any damage and kicking out anything that doesn't belong. And so then you have the fruits and the vegetables, the chicken, the potatoes, the, um, the nuts and the seeds and the good oils. And then some people, yes, they do go off the diet occasionally. Okay, whatever. But there's your nutrition. Okay. Nobody is starving on J-juice. Um, the, uh, the healing symptoms are the pain. But nobody is starving on J-juice. So somebody had a question about how does J-juice do this and everything. Well, when you get access to nutrition and when you kick out the foreign objects that are reprogramming your body, guess what? Your body finally gets to go back to where it was before and it gets access to nutrition to be able to disseminate all the right minerals and the nutrients to the proper places and then filter out any excess. That is how the J-juice works. And then, yes, the prostaglandin hormone gets released, which means that's, that is pain. It aids in the healing process. And then you guys will have to pick and choose when and if you want to use modern medicine to deal with some of the pain. Okay? But, I mean, this is for this lady that's asking me this question. And here's the thing. She needs to read the book. Okay? We're not starving anybody on this freaking protocol. Nobody is starving on this protocol. But you go and apply all these different antibiotics, okay? Uh, you apply colloidal silver, you apply all turmeric and honey and all these things. It suppresses your immune system and it leaves you open for viruses. This is the whole crux of J-juice is that we are killing the viruses and then reprogramming the body to then potentially reverse the aging process. I'm seeing it in myself. If you saw me a couple of years ago, I look vastly different and I'm acting vastly different than I did a couple of years ago because I kicked out the viruses in my body that are causing hormonal fluctuations, causing um, the weight gain. Well, yeah, it's all the, 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 the hormones. And then also, too, anything that I didn't heal from years ago came to surface and the body finally dealt with it. And then the mentality, your mental, your biochemistry, everything changes because I kicked out the viruses. Those viruses program people to die. This is what causes death is the virus programming. And then the alcohol and the weed and the drugs then lower your immune system, lower your defenses. So that way more viruses can come in and take up residence and then replicate as well. Not even just new viruses. The, the viruses replicate in your body and they program every single cell in your body over a certain amount of time based upon your biochemistry to go through a death process. It is a predator overtaking the prey. You have a job to make sure that you are the strong one to kick out the invaders. If not, you're going to be taken over and then engulfed and consumed by these little microbes. Now, there's good bacteria called probiotics, lactobacillus, but it has to be the right kind. It can't be from alcohol. It cannot be from kombucha. It cannot be from milk. It cannot be from sugar or fruit because that will feed the candida, which lowers your immune system to allow the viruses to replicate, and that's not the right thing. It must be from the cabbage and kale. That is the right, that is the best probiotic strain you will ever get. You will not get it from a pill, powder, or a supplement. That is the wrong probiotic. That's just a temporary stay of execution. The right probiotic is paired with 
the cabbage and kale. It's paired with the pink Himalayan salt. It's paired with water. And then you got to feel the pain. That's what it comes down to. And so this, this is truly, this is truly what, if enough people take this on, this is what truly can save families. If people understand this and choose to understand this. Because what's behind cancer, disease, and chronic illness? It's viruses out of control. Vir if you do a titer test, you will see, I mean, for the main viruses, EBV, Epstein-Barr virus, um, the HPV, the herpes virus, measles virus, mumps virus, all, I mean, I'll tell you what, I mean, it's so hard to even list out all the different viruses. I mean, I did talk about all the different viruses in different regions of the world. So yes, all you world travelers are picking up viruses, yellow fever virus, influenza virus. Influenza seems to come from tropical climates like Vietnam, okay? So the J-juice will go and neutralize those viruses that are in your gut, sending off the wrong messages, destroying your body. This is where the cancer, disease, and chronic illness, this is where Parkinson's comes from. This is where lupus, fibromyalgia, this is where all of these different autoimmune disorders come from. It starts in the gut because you either program your body with the right probiotics and the right nutrition, or you have these viruses going in and taking up residents and then sending off their own messages. Basically, it's a hostile takeover. These viruses that you're being exposed to that you have never kicked out of your body, it's basically a hostile takeover. And then you're watching your body degrade year by year. So the J-juice completely reverses that. And I'm going to be frank and say it. Yes, the J-juice reverse that. But you have to want to fight for your life. It's easy to die in our society because we have so many distractions, whether it's alcohol, drugs, sex, music, football, whatever it is, it's very easy to be distracted and pass away. Yeah, you gave, you gave yourself to a company for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and then you pass away and all your social security goes to then the government. And guess who enjoys all the money that you've earned? The government does. Why can't you live around? be around and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Why do you have to die? You don't have to die. But that's the programming that we deal with right now. And so now we've finally figured out through ripping apart things, little by little, going back to basics, understanding what is antibodies? What's antigen? What's the RH factor? What's the blood type? Surface marker antigen creates antibodies. What's that surface marker antigen? I'll tell you what that is. That's the freaking viruses, you guys. That's the surface marker antigen. It's the viruses in your body that create the antibodies. And this is what causes the blood types. And this is why you see so much genetic diversity. It's the blood types that cause the genetic diversity. It's the viruses. And I've been wanting to tell people, hey, why don't you go and get a titer test for all of you uh, blood type A, B, positive. We know that the, the RH factor is a rhesus monkey gene, whether you test positive or negative. If you test positive, it means that you have enough antibodies that triggers a positive on a test. If you test negative, it doesn't mean you don't have the antibody. It means you don't have enough antibodies to trigger a positive. No different than drug tests. If you pop positive on a drug test, it means that you just recently smoked pot. But if, if you test negative, it doesn't mean that you've never smoked pot. It just means that you don't have enough antibodies to trigger a positive. But every time you're exposed to any antigen or any virus, you will have the antibody. Whether or not you trigger positive depends upon how many antibodies have been agglutinating and replicating. But that is the basis point of genetic diversity is these blood types. O negative, you can still have issues with O negative. It could be a hormonal issue. It could be a candida issue. Okay? So O negatives don't mean that you're like the healthiest people. I, I mean, I was O positive. I still had a hormonal. I didn't have as many issues as other people did that are AB positive. I had a PMDD. That was my issue. But hey, I'm sure that if I were to stick around long and if I didn't do the JGs and I, let's say I tested my blood 10 years later and I'm not on JGs, I could have been a blood type of like AB or A. Because you don't know how many viruses you pick up along the way, especially when your body's degrading. Okay. And this is why people look very similar too. Husbands and wives look similar when they're degrading. Um, 
people that my husband's work. <clears throat> Some people look totally the same. Like they're twins, but they're not even related. It's the same viruses they've been exposed to. People look very similar because it's, we have a doppelganger because we have only a certain amount of viruses that plague the human population. And this is what causes the 23andMe. When you go get in 23andMe and you want to go see like what your nationality is, it's not based upon like, oh, your skin color. Oh, yeah, you know, you have uh, a little label that says underneath the skin that you're Iranian or you're this. No, it's about the mutations and the viruses that are prevalent in that region. Okay? That's what 23andMe is. Is it based upon the mutations, the genetic diversity, the mutations? There's, like, your sickle cell anemia, anemia is more prevalent in the, um, I don't know, in, in, in the African-American population. Asian population. So, but does it mean that every, I mean, it's, it, that's how they determine your nationality is your mutations. And then we learned that the skin color based upon folate, B folate access. And, um, and we did, a, we, in my group, we have people doing research on that, looking at the access to vitamins and how our skin colors even changed on the protocol. Okay, so it, we don't know what normal is. We really don't. Until your body gets access to nutrition on a very concentrated basis, we don't know what normal is. So we cannot possibly say that somebody and this, somebody is that is abnormal. Or we don't know. If anything, everybody at this point is abnormal because we're so mutated with so many viruses swimming around in our body. You just do a titer test. It'll tell you. Okay, so how the J-Juice works is your specific diet, because if you're coming into the picture with already major amounts of candida, which I know everybody who is sick has a candida problem, and they're feeding it with alcohol and other types of high amounts of sugar. Sugar isn't inherently bad. However, in the beginning, when you do J-juice, you have to cut down on the sugar you still get the fruit in the in the J-juice, I mean, as far as the protocol, and you get potatoes, and there's sugar in carrots, but you're trying to calm down the sugar intake to keep your candida under control and take in the electrolytes and the probiotics and the nutrition from the J-juice. So now you're balancing your body with elements that have been missing for a long-ass time. You're not eradicating sugar. We're not saying that sugar is bad, but you see that in the allopathic holistic world or how they're demonizing sugar because they don't realize that they need to have a mass amount of electrolytes with the nutritive element and the probiotics. But it has to be the right probiotic. It can't be the other crappy probiotics that are out there. It has to be with the cabbage and kale. That is the correct probiotic. That is the correct strain. The other strains in the kombuchas is you're getting a fruit type of lactobacillus background. So that's going to feed the candida. The yogurt, the acidophilus, the milk feeds the cancer because it's still sweet, okay? The vinegar lactobacillus is the fermented ethanol. That will undermine you because that's carcinogenic. So those are the wrong probiotics. The right one is paired with the salt, the pink Himalayan salt, the cabbage and the kale, the water, and that, and that was what is going to give you the balancing forces that your body needs. The, the electrolytes will energize the body and energize the healing. And then the nutritive elements in this and the probiotics will then be energized. And then your body will finally be able to push out kidney stones, parasites, worms, viruses, and then reprogram your body the way it was meant to initially. And yeah, you got to deal with pain. And yeah, you got a waterfall. And yeah, you'll be thirsty. And yeah, you may have a headache. Yeah, you're going to have skin issues if that's in your biochemistry. You're going to be reprogramming your biochemistry. Your thought process is not going to be the same. You're not going to be the same person if you stay on J-Juice long enough. You're going to be unrecognizable. I'm unrecognizable of what I was four years ago, five years ago. My thought process is unrecognizable to me. My face is unrecognizable. It, I look vastly different than I did three or four years ago. I was going down a really slippery trajectory. 
So this is how the J-Ju work, J-Juice works. And then eventually you will reintroduce foods back in your diet. Eventually when you've been mitigating all the gluten-free and the gluten and all the breads and all the different things, right? Then guess what? You'll understand balance. You'll understand, okay, guess what? I can have a bowl of rice. Guess what? I can have some stir fry chicken or, or I can have nightshades. But if you reintroduce foods too early, guess what? You go into this mucus state because your body is still healing. You still have to play the discrimination game. You still have to take in and heal. And then eventually you'll be able to eat anything in moderation and you won't eat as much. It's going to be so different. Your whole mentality around food is going to be different. You're not going to be playing the judgmental discriminatory game that people do in the allopathic holistic world. Oh, stay away from this. Stay away from that. Oh, you're a meat eater. Oh, you're horrible. Uh, oh, yeah, that's that's people that are imbalanced, that are, discri- that are discriminatory. That's an imbalance. Meat has been around for years. Dogs eat meat. Humans are omnivores. We're not playing those political games. As soon as I got off my politics, I was able to grasp now the virus concept because the vaccine industry is huge around this because they know there are these deadly viruses that are out there, not only Ebola, but so many other viruses that people get exposed to and on a weaker body would die from an exposure from some of these aggressive viruses. This is why the vaccine program exists. It's not perfect because we're dealing with imperfect people and imperfect bodies. And some are more more mutated than others. This is why some people die and others don't when they do get a round of vaccines. Maybe what the industry needs to do, what we've been talking about is Holly's Law, and they do a titer test to see if you have adequate enough protection so you don't have to get the vaccine and then tip the scales on the antibody acquisition to then cause more issues. But people don't get this. It's what you bring to the table. But then the industry has a responsibility too. And maybe you have a responsibility as a parent to say, hey, I'm going to get a titer test for my kid if I don't really like the vaccines and see what they have, what kind of protection they have and then show it to the doctor and that could be a pass or show it to the government and that could be a pass. But you have to be the one to take up for your kid. It's not up to the system to just stop it all together. You have to understand how the body works and how your system works. And if you don't, then yeah, you'll be subject to be catered to as the lowest common denominator. They don't know who the hell you are. They don't know how pathogenic you are. So everybody gets a vaccine. So maybe be smart about it and understand how titer tests work. And then work, once you show the layer of protection, then work on getting and dispersing those antibodies so they don't become the disease in the future. That's the responsibility of parents. But a lot of parents are just checked out, too busy with their distractions. It is what it is. All right, so this is for Jacqueline. I'm going to see if I can tag her. But really, people really need to get the book. They need to send me the receipt. They can join my group, my public secret Facebook group. And they can ask all the questions they want. doesn't mean I'm going to answer every single question because some things are left up to you. You guys have to make the decision on your medical issues. People are trying to ask me, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? I have this going on. I have um, implants I got to do. Will J-Juice purge them out? Hey, the potential is always there. So either you get the procedure done because you need to get it done. But some of you are like your back's against the wall and you have to get a procedure done. Do it and then do the J-Juice. And then you'll deal with it as, as you do the J-Juice. Okay? I mean, this ain't poisonous. J-Juice is not poisonous. But your immune system is going to be very highly triggered and it's a good thing because it needs to purge out what doesn't belong. So yeah, if you're going to pay $10,000 for caps on your teeth, I can't tell you if the J-Juice is going to purge them off. I can't tell you. I'm thinking most likely it's going to happen. So you have to make a choice. Either you look pretty with those caps temporarily, and then you die in like five or 10 years relative to your situation. Or you say, you know what? Looking cute isn't exactly the most, you know, whatever. I'll take one for the team right now. Look kind of ugly during this awkward stage and drink the J-juice and see what happens. I mean, I still have fillings in my teeth. I can't tell you if your caps in your teeth are going to get thrown off. But I still have amalgam fillings. Thanks, Kathy. 
So obviously, even through my healing stage, my body didn't purge out the amalgam fillings. So guess what? It takes a little bit every day, I'm sure, and I absorb it. And then what I don't need, I don't know, maybe over time, they'll disappear. I don't know. But I healed despite having these amalgam fillings, which means that the body isn't going to purge out what doesn't really need to purge out. It picks and chooses and it prioritizes based upon severity. Obviously, these aren't very severe. And then Kathy goes, the Facebook group is a great support for each other, for each of us as we do our own thing with the protocol. Yeah. What, I, what people do when they contribute to my group is they talk about what the juice has done for them. They don't ask what the juice can do for them. They talk about what the juice has done for them and their experiences because they've exemplified, they understand what this juice is and what's available for them with this juice. But no, I don't want anybody going in there asking people what they should do with any medical situation with the juice. If you have to ask a question on what to do with a symptom of your cancer disease and chronic illness, you need to call your doctor because now you're showing that you don't know what to do and we're not your doctor, we're not your nurse, we're not your advisor. My group is for people who know what the hell they're doing, understand the power of the juice, and they just want extra support during the journey. It is not a holistic group where everybody's asking what they should do with their child and then now everybody's giving them all this different advice. I don't know how these people pick and choose what advice to listen to. That is asinine as a parent. Why would you turn to Facebook to, to deal with your child? That I don't understand. You're trusting strangers on how to take care of a situation with your child. Call your damn doctor. But if you know what you're doing, you wouldn't be asking the question. If you don't know what you're doing, you go to a professional. And that's the whole point of J-Juice. If you know what you're doing, you will exemplify it and you will share. If you don't know what you're doing, then you call your doctor. The instructions in my book are pretty self-explanatory. The experiences in my group shouldn't be hard to mirror and see that where you can see yourself in somebody else's situation. If you don't get any of that, and this protocol isn't for you, you need to go see your doctor and have that world because it's, my world is not for you. All right, so this is for all of you that want to know how J-Juice works. We've done the research. It's there. Okay, you guys have a good day, but do the J-Juice. If you're doing the J-Juice, awesome, stay on it. Don't get off it. I know it's tough, but... You know what? Life is tough. <laughs> it's easy to die in our society because there's so many different ways that you can die in our society. It's very tough to actually fight for your life. It's very tough. Not everybody does it. But you have to if you truly want to live. All right. Bye-bye.